Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello and welcome to Basis Loaded. I'm Joe Schmidt, joined as always by Paige Driscoll. And uh, join us while we dive into this week's NDPSR as there are a few surprises and uh, we'll get to those. But first, with we'll start off with butter. Uh, the butter number here came in at 236.57, which is a full three cents over the CME weekly average. Any, anybody who has been watching understands that anytime you get a big basis like that in butter, you can probably normally assume lower volume, and that's exactly what we have here. I think what's interesting in butter is butter has come off of its CME spot high in the 241.75 range, and then on the CME, it traded down to 233.15. What's interesting is that that 241.75 at that high, of course we had extra volume that week and printed a negative basis, but as the CME has moved from 241.75 all the way down to 233.15, uh, we've only seen roughly a three and a half cent break on the NDPSR. So at the high end of the range, we're printing a negative basis. At the low end of the range, we're printing more of a positive basis. Certainly the volume has a little bit to help, but it feels like butter is just kind of consolidating here. And uh, somewhere in between that 241 and 233 seems to be where the sweet spot for butter is right now. Moving on to cheese, if you'll remember on the previous few NDPSR, NDPSR reports, cheese has been the big story. Uh, and that continues this week. However, 183.71 for the block value is a penny and a half over, which is basically just a historical premium that you would expect for blocks. Definitely, definitely respectable at a penny and a half over on good volume, but certainly not the four and five cent over that we had seen in weeks past. Now the story remains the same in barrels because here this barrel number at 175.22 is almost full cent, full four cents over the CME weekly average, also on really good volume. So we're, consider, we're continuing to see really impressive cheese basis uh, here on the NDPSR, which would mean that more than likely that manufacturers are not having to discount to move extra loads of cheese. Uh, whey, again, whey right here at 36.73. Basically steady now for, call it the last five weeks, um, with the exception of one week there where we were a little bit lower than 36. Um, it's interesting that we had a full penny sell-off on the CME and the NDPSR here just shrugs it off, relatively unchanged. Still strong demand for whey, big volume. Uh, all in all, I think it's a very impressive number. And here we have the big story, nonfat. 104.05, that's a full penny over the CME weekly average for that week. And what's interesting here is we had the big release from large, from manufacturers to what is thought to be the uh, trading community. When we don't have those extra sales going in above contracted sales, only 15 million pounds this week, that's when the basis jumps. And then you have also a penny higher on the CME that week, and that's how you get this almost penny and three-quarter increase on the nonfat. So all in all, what you have here, I mean, I think it was a pretty, it's a definitely an impressive butter number. Barrel numbers and cheese numbers are, are also fairly impressive. Currently putting the class three for August around that 1760 area. And if you run through the nonfat and butter numbers, you probably get a 1675 settlement for class four, which, so that class three, class four with the class three trading probably 85 cents over, that's, that's kind of a, of a historical relationship between class three and class four. However, if we do get some heat, there's still a lot of summer left, or if class one, if fluid demand starts to pull, it's going to be the class three, or I'm sorry, the class four channels, the butter nonfat that gets shorted on the milk first. So that'll be interesting to watch in the weeks to come. Until then, I'm Joe on behalf of Paige. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.